Hello everybody, we are on to chapter 5, I think we're on 5, 5 or 6, I think we're on 5 though, chapter 5, part 5. So this one was go just like the last part, where I uh, kind of cut out a lot of the uh, the side stuff at the beginning of it. Also, I'll show some stuff and then I'll make some like mentions of some things that you might want to check out, but yeah, we'll get right into it and then enjoy the uh, start of the start of the chapter. Come on, pick up. Who are you calling? Sephiroth. I just can't seem to get a hold of him. Oh, haven't you heard? Word is, Sephiroth has shut himself inside the data room. In the data room, communication devices are strictly prohibited. It's no wonder you can't reach him. The data room? Apparently. He's researching the history of the Shinra Science Department. Oh. Aerith, what's up? Um, question. When are you going to make it for me? Make what? No! Oh. The flower wagon. You forgot? No, of course I didn't. Hold on, I'm coming. Alright. So a little jump cut there, because... I don't remember what I was... I, they showed a tutorial or something that... It was just like more little uh, material combinations. Sephiroth's whereabouts. You were complaining about not being able to get in touch with Sephiroth, but he's in the data room. Looks like he's going through all the research papers on a series of experiments called Project G, as well as other experiments conducted around the same time. But Project D G took place over 20 years ago, and Hollander has taken some of that data with him. I even hear that the really important data isn't even here, but hidden away. In some other place. Some of you may know the story, may know where it is. <laughs> so we'll jump cut into there. The truth about soldier. Two soldier operatives reported as KIA were spotted alive. Both Genesis and Angel were seen entering the Apple processing factory in Benora. In fact, my source tells me he saw more than one Genesis appearing one after another in succession. Professor Hollander on the science department. Uh, hopefully, you guys read that, but. I got that from uh, the reporter. You see the reporter around there. That's where I got that thing. So, like, you don't turn him in when you find him. So, he just talked to a bunch of people around the town. I also did that. So, I started this side quest, which is about um, finding Wu Tai spies. That's why I'm talking to this guy, and I'm showing him. So, you talk to him like three times, and your cover gets blown, or his cover gets shown. I found a Wu Tai spy. Yeah, so I'll, I get up to this point and then I cut it out because I'm basically just showing that like where the location of the spies are. Stop right there. And no you don't fight them; run. you just chase them off, and this guy helps you out. So in order to start that quest, just like talk to, just talk to everybody. You'll get the quest started eventually. Just do the same thing you've been doing in every cha chapter. Just talk to everybody. And then this is me just going to talk to uh, Hello, Lazard. No, just seeing how you're doing. I'm sorry, but I'm rather busy at the moment. The latest attack on our building has created a mountain of paperwork. The security department is hounding me because Genesis, a soldier deserter, led the attacks. Hmm, sounds like a hassle. The people in security are hoping to eliminate Genesis and Angeal as quickly as possible. Wait a minute. Did they forget? Angeal fought to protect this place. The company still views him as a potential danger. That's the official line. Come on, man. If that's the official line, I might put in my papers. <laughs> the price of freedom can be steep. How about you, Director? Have you ever gotten fed up with the company? Not even once, Zack. I guess that's why you're director. Kudos to you. When you're trying to realize a grand objective, all obstacles and difficulties seem trivial. Objective? Which is... Oh, it's nothing. Now, enough chit-chat. 
I have to get back to work. I cannot recall if this is actually like main story stuff or if it's just a side mission. Either way. <clears throat> so this will this will kind of advance the story to a bit. I'm doing it for a specific reason though. Where have you been? Sorry. I've been a little busy. Yeah, great. Can't reach Sephiroth either. What's going on? Nothing. He's just cooped up in the data room, looking into stuff in the past or something. I see. Whoa! You're taking off? What did you come here for? Genesis and Hollander are in Modeoheim now. Oh. You're reporting. So you're still... working? <laughs> I'm still a soldier member in spirit. I've informed Lazard. They'll pick you up. Yeah, that was pretty much so I can like come back in down to the city because I had to because once you jump into that, that cutscene starts. So I was doing that so I could go talk to this guy who is the third Wutai Shinra spy. So I just talked to him three times. I'll cut ahead. Yeah, I'm just kind of showing you that uh, these are your targets. <laughs> Everything else is basically, you know, Whatever you, yeah, because they all end the same way, pretty much. And then the next target will be here, so you just come into the Shinra building and you go up the stairs. You may have seen this guy come out of the elevators before, but if you can't get him to come out, just run in the direction that I did, and he should come out. But he's on, like, the second level, like, he's basically in the, uh, the main, the main hallway of the Shinra building, you just go up the stairs. I get lost trying to go anywhere. There's nothing suspicious about me. Stop at me like Pretty much if you've been in the Shinra building, you you know what to do. You know where this is. I've been blown. <laughs> then the next one would be this chick that's been talking to this guy in the town. The face is a three. The rest is up to what's in his wallet. <laughs> what she only cares about money. Another pickup artist? Soldier, huh? I wish he'd just go away. What do you want, soldier man? <laughs> oh, your cover's been blown. And then the very last one is in the uh, exhibition room. Or the exhibit room. In the Shinra building. You're saying I have a grudge against Shinra? Yeah, I do. What of it? Damn, I'm blown. Then after that, the very last one is this little kid that's in the park. <laughs> the little kid's a Shinra spy. What? I'm a proud, brave Wu Tai trooper. Scared now? What is it, Mister? I'm blown. Then after that, I went and did a bunch of side missions that I'm going to show off right now. You can see all of them are completed. Done four V's. All six from the M3 ones. Uh, the five star ones starting to get a little bit tougher there. Pretty much in this point of the game, um, you actually are, are able to do all of the side missions like a hundred percent, and you could pretty much get like so strong. Yeah, you can get so strong that the rest of the game is trivial. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some guides on how to do that. But 
Oh, actually there is, because that's how I did it. <laughs> Yeah, now that we showed all the side missions, then bah! Hello, Zach. I'm Lucier Luxier, uh, soldier second class. We just met on the soldier floor. I'm the one who told you about Sephiroth. I just wanted to say that I have a lot of respect for you. Your strength and spirit comes through in, in a way you've never, yeah, in the way you never seem to lose your smile, and that's why I want to assist you in any way that I can. Since you're always on the go, I thought you might want to something. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we just go back to the uh, I need you in Modeo High. church, and then we move on. Just give me a minute. Aerith isn't there. Mm. Problem? And how is it you know Aerith? It's complicated. Really? Did she tell you anything? Not a thing. Then I won't either. Whatever, I guess. Whatever. That's a fine how do you do? Song! Hey guys! No signal out here. Well, at least we're all in one piece. We'll be all right. Thankfully, we have someone used to this kind of terrain. Yeah, yeah, I'm a country boy. All right, then. We would have reached Modeoheim by now if we hadn't crashed. So, we're going to need to make up for lost time. All right, follow me, then. Now we are in Modeoheim, which is technically up in like the north area where um, the Icicle Inn area is. Yo! Don't fall too far behind! At least someone's keeping up. Well, I'm a country boy too. From where? Nibelheim. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Me? Gungaga. Hey, what's so funny about that? You know Gungaga? No, but it's such a backwater name. Ditto Nibelheim. Like you've been there. I haven't, but there's a reactor there, right? A Mako reactor outside Midgar usually means nothing, nothing else out, out there. there. Oh. <laughs> Good news, Song. Me and... Cloud. Me and Cloud here are both backwater experts. Oh, yeah! Good. Carry on, then. It's your boy, Cloud! And this is how Cloud and Zack meet. <laughs> it's on a mission to Mideoheim. And he's a fresh-faced rookie. <laughs> and the Shinra army. <sighs> Guess I'll wait. Hey, uh, Zack? Hmm? Um, so, soldier. What's it like? Huh? I'm not getting the question. Um... Well, you'll know once you join up. 
if I can join. Don't worry. If I can do it, you can. <laughs> Cloud, look. It's Genesis. That's a Mako excavation test site. Okay, I'll check it out. Our main mission here is reconnaissance. Engaging Genesis was not expected. Not expected, so just let them be? Unreal. In any case, we need more intel. It's possible that a larger force is hiding inside the building. How's this then? I go first, avoiding combat if possible and sneak inside. Then I take a look around. If I can take them, I will. If not, I'll bolt. <sighs> Come on, man. I'll prove that soldier isn't just a bunch of mindless thugs. <laughs> All right. The entrance is behind that warehouse. Make your way in from there. Gotcha! I'm sure you know, but it'll be cold. Mind your body temperature. If you stop moving, your body temp will go down. To get it back up, just do your usual thing. Oh, that! Good idea! Soldiers are just amazing. <laughs> Poor Cloud. He's such a dork. <laughs> He looks like really tiny though, you know, Don't take too long. compared to Zack. He might have always been that. I think he was always that tall though. Because I don't think he beefs up. I don't know, he does a little bit, you know, once everything's said and done. But anyways, I actually left this fight in there? What? Weird. Alright, we'll roll with it. <laughs> We'll roll with it. Man. So I save here because there's like a trophy um, that you can get for basically you sneak in here, you get all the treasures and you get in there without being seen. I don't think the treasures were a part of it, but I think if you just see if you get in there without being seen, you get the trophy. But I grab all the treasure chests in there too though. Yeah, so you can kind of just look. This is allowing you to kind of see the pattern that the soldiers walk in. Which is actually pretty simple, once you know the route. Yeah, I was just checking out like where everything was. Confirm your tactics. <laughs> Yeah, guards are constantly patrolling. So you just come over here, kneel down. So you just use L1 to crouch. Wait for that guy to walk by. And these guys are still incredibly blind. <laughs> it's almost like you have to walk like right in front of their faces. Got a power attack. Nah, I just kind of follow this guy. Because he basically stays there. Yeah. And I just book it back. And just grab that chest. Uh, that chest. That chest. Book it back. Wait for these two to kind of cross paths. And then you can just run past them. The two of them. And 
that is the last chest so you could have gone in there i low-key panicked i saw that guy and then i ran over here for some reason because oh wait never mind there was that chest over there do not go in there immediately go get the chest <laughs> and then i'm like crash down dude what am i doing like could have gotten seen right there oh yeah i forgot about the temperature you can see in the top left corner your temperature is going down I think you get to like 28 degrees or something like that and you like, yeah. So that's all the chests. So it's a good thing I didn't, you know, you don't just run in there. Probably might even be smarter if you just run straight ahead, go into that area, grab that chest in that little corner and then run up by the door. And then grab that chest and then just head right in. You, you make it in there before that guard even gets down there. What's the meaning of this? So sorry, I skipped ahead most of the reactor. Need me, Genesis. Remember that. If you get rid of me, who's going to stop the degradation? The Genova cells. Stop! Cloud! Good work! But nobody knows where the Genova cells are being kept. Not even Hojo knows. You'll never find it. Then I shall willingly accept my fate. But I'll take the world with me. Cloud! Go! to fight Genesis one wing goofy ass. Here we go. I'm gonna start off with his limit break. I'm gonna stop him from doing that. Oh, he's poisoned me. Oh no. You can use an antidote. For some reason, like when status effects happen, I never really seem to like worry about them. <laughs> Unless you absolutely need to. But I can't do any damage to him because he's got the he's got like that physical defense on there. But he's not immune to magic. Doesn't take very long. He'll run out eventually. Yeah, I never. I don't think he ever does his limit rig here on me. I never get to see it. Then he's doing his protection spells again. I'm trying to hit him with physical attacks. <laughs> Ooh, no MP cost. Hit him with that magic. Hit him with the magic. Why am I swinging at him? Have I not realized that... Have I not realized that he's, like, immune? Yeah, I'm clearly not paying attention to the icons over his head and the giant things that say guard. Don't mind me, I'm having brain fart. Maybe I'm just a, I was just running on autopilot on this fight, apparently. No, now he's doing regen, so now he's gonna try to... Now he's going to heal himself. Slowly over time. Well, we can't have that. Just keep the pressure on. That's probably the most annoying thing about him, is like him doing regen. Not even just the fact that he like goes physical immune on you. But like yeah, he can just ba he basically just has a regen here for a minute. Oh, there. he's got his uh, physical immunity on, so he's gonna he's gonna get quite some of his health back. I don't know why I'm not casting magic on him. I don't know why. I was having some moments. Look, he's dazed here. Look, using Blazaga. Was it Blazaga or Bizarra? I don't know if it was the tier three spell or the tier one spell. I really should have just popped like that. Ah. 
Wow, watching this fight back, I really could have done this a lot better, I think. I feel like I was trying to brute force it too much. I'm gonna hit him with some Ifrit. Yeah, I feel like I was trying to brute force this fight too much. I, mean, I could have played a little bit like smarter, I guess. Getting rid of, getting rid of uh, poison, using magic more when he was have it when he had the physical defense up. Cause, I mean, and even then, even then, with how poorly I think I played this fight, he was still rather easy. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again with it. I think maybe now I'm catching on. Might start casting. Yeah, I might start catching magic. I'm doing way more damage with magic. Like I said, magic is very strong. Very, very strong. And then, like, once you get to a certain point, like, physical attacks just. Like, no the normal physical attacks just get completely outshined. Cause there are some really strong, there are some strong physical like materials that you can use. Dreams of the morrow, half the shattered soul. Pride is lost, wings stripped away. The end is nigh. Such is the fate of a monster. We're not monsters, you hear me? We're soldier. Where's your honor? <sighs> Even if the morrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. If this world seeks my destruction, it goes with me. Genesis. Hooray, he's dead. <laughs> now we get Genesis DMW, which his is completely different from everybody else's. So it's like when the limit verge occurs during normal DMW mode, Genesis image reel will sometimes be added. So it'll that means it's entering Genesis mode. And then like so you'll get the, the you know the corresponding limit break moves will be added and then may become unavailable in the later chapters. Yeah, but his is completely different from the other ones. But they it's pretty much the same thing. Ultimately. Song? Cloud? Where are they? Hmm? What is that hole? Did they go in? Alright. Now that we've completed that, we notice that the ice that was blocking that path has now been removed. So you know you're in Modeoham, eh? Isn't that near an Icicle Inn, the permafrost area? Must be freezing cold out there. That area was once a candidate for Mako excavation when it was abuzz with construction workers and scientists around the Shinra facility. But after the plans for a Mako reactor were canned, the village was deserted. That is until reports of disturbing activity started popping up recently. The seclusion of harshness of the environment must have made it con a convenient location for anti Shinra troops. Groups, not troops. So, yeah, there's like some. There are some chests around there. 
So soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. Shinder's rapid growth has given birth to distortions in many parts of the world. There are Shinder's shadows, dark entities that the president and the vice president must confront that in turn may define us as victims of Shinra shadows. However, we as employees of the Shinra company must act with accountability, and I trust that you will do that even without my leadership. Lazard being cryptic as usual. So there's chess on the outside of that. They're not hard to miss. <laughs> So yeah, I skipped ahead. There's like a chest right next to this phone, and then you can listen to these messages. I don't think you have to in order to get this thing, but I did. I listened to all of them, so I will just let those play out real quick. All right, yeah, and then once you heard all that, you basically heard some of them were saying that like there was some loot over here. There's it was like some secret shit. It's a power wrist, which isn't really useful at this point in the game, I think. Cause then you get like a power wrist earlier on. But yay. <laughs> so we run over here and we'll grab the handle. Grab this handle that's there. Off to the bathhouse we go. Activate 
Participating combat mode. <laughs> if you read that, it's like a Griffin. It's a Griffin. Yeah. Oh look, right off the bat, we get some. Uh, well, n not really right off the bat, but you know, for you guys, it's right off the bat. We get some. We get the Genesis limit break. Look, we're so graceful, just like him. <laughs> I actually think that limit break is very weak. Like, when it gets in later, it does, like, almost no damage. It's insane, really. Hey, look, we got no physical. He can't hurt us. Ha ha! Oh, he's casting wall on himself. Get reduced damage, but we don't care. Hit him with that fire. He's weak against fire, as you can see. But like some of the stronger ones that I think was uh, Separos. Separos limit break was very good damage-wise later on. And Geo monsters. Does that mean he's here? I think Clouds does some damage too. Clouds does. Yeah, Clouds. Clouds does some nice damage, but Sephiroth definitely does. Ow! Ow! The wander's too hot. It's way too hot. <laughs> Is there any way I can cool things down? Obviously, that's what we got the handle for. We will take care of that, and then we'll head back here. But for right now, we're going to move on. Hey! Cloud, come on. I'm okay. Song. Song. Up ahead. You have to catch Hollander. And Geo is waiting for you. Cloud getting his butt kicked. He's just a regular Shinra soldier. He's a little weak dork right now. But we love him all the same, right? <laughs> See that in there? We can't really do anything because the steam's in the way. Although I check it anyways. Even though it looked like I could get it. I was like, that seems too easy. <laughs> so yeah, we just head up the stairs. It's almost like as if we're just heading the way we're supposed to go. See, because we, we're supposed to head out that way. And then you, you put the handle in there, and it'll stop the steam. Pretty much in here and also in the bathhouse. So we can go and collect those two. That chest that's in the water in the bathhouse, and then also in this, yeah, the material that's chilling in the steam there. We'll grab that first. And then I'll cut to when I'm heading back to the chest. So we got a lightning armlet. It wasn't a material, it was an actual accessory. So we'll head up the stairs and head back to the bathhouse. Basically skip that fight. <laughs> we got this spell! That would have been nice to have during the Genesis fight, where we could have just dispelled his his damn attack. So now anytime an enemy does wall, we can dispel it, you know, I guess. But I never end up really using it. I always found, like, more materia is much more, like, you know, got, like, 20 saves. <laughs> 13 hours? Not too bad. Basically just heading on the same path, we'll cut ahead, off into the boss fight. It should have been me. I should have dealt with Genesis. Yeah. Then why'd you send me? To prepare you for your next fight. Have you lost it? Stop it! 
Someone's waiting for you, no? Injil, don't do this. Very good, Angeal. It is time to exact vengeance for our family's suffering. Family? No! My father is dead! <laughs> Fine. Then do it for your mother. My mother's shame made her take her own life. Shame? How terribly misguided. She should have been proud. Proud that she was the namesake of our experiment. Project G. Or should I say, Project Jillian? Ugh. Don't say her name. <sighs> Jillian, the woman implanted with Genova cells. Genesis, who had her genes mapped onto him during the fetal stage. Yes, Genesis was a failure. I'll admit it. But you, Angeal. You were actually bred inside Jillian's body. You... You are perfection. <sighs> Zack, I am perfect. A perfect... monster. My cells can absorb genetic traits and pass them along to others. A two-way conduit. Genova's power has passed on to you completely. Zack, do you remember what I said about our enemy being all that creates suffering? Yeah, but you're not one of them. But I created my own suffering. Zack, let me show you. Stop it! You don't know what you're doing! Oh no, Angela has turned into a complete and total armored monster. Oh look! It's like now you know how Zack got one half of his scar. <laughs> From Angela. And he starts off with wall? I think that's wall. Either that's wall or it is... But I'm pretty sure that's wall. Let me just wait it out. Yeah. But I wasn't going to waste, like, a materia slot on Dispel, I think. Just drag out the fight. Ugh. I wouldn't rely too heavily on, like, physical attacks when I'm only doing, like, 29 damage. Whew. Like, look at that. And Jill's a beefy boy, and he's doing, like, 900, you know? And he's weak. He's weak against fire and blizzard. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now he has magic barrier up. Okay. Yeah, so the first one was... The first one was barrier, or physical barrier, and then this is magic barrier. So I, I think he switches between whatever... Whatever one you end up using, I think. I know now I wish I had kind of equipped a, uh, either a fire or blizzard, like, physical attack. 
So then I could use that whenever he decides. But you could still use magic, just at a reduced cost. Yeah, it's not really doing as much damage. Still better than nothing. Let's just whittle him down. I got plenty of potions. I got some high potions, I believe. I think I even got some elixirs. I even got Phoenix Downs. I'm well prepared for this fight. <laughs> even though that did a lot of damage. I was like more than half my health. We'll hit him with meteor shots. The power of soldier. All right, here comes the big and he knows this is one of uh, Cloud's limit breaks. <laughs> 1400 damage, that's not a whole lot of damage. Whew. But he, he, has a, he has the physical barrier back up. That attack's pretty easy to dodge. When you see those, just kind of time it. Or you could block it. I'm pretty sure you could block it. That's always like my go-to, I've noticed. When it comes to like four-legged enemies. I always run to like the back, the hip area. And I start like wailing on their hip. Thinking that like they can't hit me. <laughs> but they usually, they usually end up having like this hind kick or something. And they'll just kick me while I'm behind them. Yeah, but I do that all the time. It, it, I guess it's that monster hunter syndrome, you know? You know, you, you're fighting the big monsters and you're just running behind them and just wailing on them on their back legs. But then again, I think I was doing that way before Monster Hunter 2, so... Anytime there was like a four-legged boss. Ooh, we are not doing a whole lot of damage. We're just going to be only be able to mitigate this. Open wide. He actually killed me there. Good thing I had that Phoenix down up. <laughs> Would have lost that fight there. What was that? Curse of Greed? Is that what that was? With no AP cost. I don't re up my Phoenix down. Hmm, interesting. Then again, I didn't make sure that my life was topped up too, so I might have survived that. I'm pretty sure I would have survived that attack. Good lord, he is tanky. I didn't realize that. But I also could have, I also could have like fixed a lot of materials. I haven't really been doing that. I mostly have just been using whatever I had picked up. Because I, I was saving like my SP for the end game and stuff. Because you get SP and that's and you need like loads of it to make materia. And so I was saving up any SP that I had for much later in the game. So I was just kind of using whatever I had found inside the side missions and stuff. And then on a, I, I think on occasion I did actually like level up my magic my magic materia so I could get like the the fire of Blizzara, you know, Thundara spells, so that they could do more damage. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I could have done like a lot more damage had I really like just took some time and made some materials. But even then, like I wasn't having any difficulty, so I never found any need to do that. Because <clears throat> I have, I hadn't run into like, I hadn't run into a boss that was that was really giving me that much of a hard time. Because sometimes I would die, mostly on the part of like negligence on my part, not keeping myself healed up, you know. That was mostly like what my deaths would come through, but for the most part it took me like maybe what, what two, two to three tries maybe for every boss. This one I think, uh, this was all, yeah, this was all one, one go really. So yeah, I, I didn't feel any need to level up. Because I only ever do that. I try to typically, like, in my RPGs, when I play the RPGs, like, I, t I, I tend to avoid, like, grinding at all. Like, I'll do the fights. I'll do the fights as I'm moving through the areas, you know? Like, for the first time. But I never go out of my way to just sit there and, like, grind uh, repeatedly in some area. Uh, until a boss either gives me a hard time, or there's something that I could use, you know, in the fight. Because I remember... 
Like if I, uh, you know, if we're talking about Final Fantasy here, because I remember like if anybody's played Final Fantasy X, you know when you run into the the the, the uh, I won't. I won't say the first time, but you know the the, the second time you run into the Seymour uh, the Seymour fight up in Mount Gagazette. Yeah, that one I definitely went back and grinded, cause holy crap! If that bo the boss the first time I fought it was giving me some trouble, up until I found out like, up until I found out what the the strat was, you know, basically just, um, I think it was like zombie, I think zombie, I don't know, was that Unaleska? Anyways, but you probably know the fight by then. <laughs> Pretty sure it's all burned in my muscle memory. But enjoy the end cutscenes. I will see you guys when this is over. Zach. You have my thanks. <laughs> this is for you. Protect your honor, always. <laughs> Embrace your dreams. If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. is closer in the city above right kind of scary but the flowers might like it maybe So you want to be in soldier? Hang in there. So, is everybody here now? Sir! You're all rookies, right? Sir! Yes, sir! One piece of advice. No. An order. Embrace your dreams. And, whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. Got it? Sir! We're all coming back here alive. You hear me?
let's go. And that's when Zack gets the Buster Sword. Alright. Yeah, this is when the story actually gets much better. But thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you guys in Chapter 6, Part 6. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.